welcomed her home. Joy was in every face and every heart. The feast was grand. They danced and sang. Everyone was merry, and I only wish that you and I had been there. The end. Heidi, that's wonderful. You can read. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Grandmama. You made it so easy. You did all the work. I can read. I can read. I can read. Do you think Clara's up yet? I need to tell her. Hmm? Why don't we surprise her with the news over breakfast? Explorer Henry Morton Stanley visits Frankfurt to talk about Africa. <gasps> yes, I read that in the papers this morning. <gasps> What did you say, Adelaide? Explorer Henry Morton Stanley oh. visits oh. Frankfurt to talk about Africa. Oh, Heidi, you can read. <laughs> yes, she can. Heidi, I'm so proud. <laughs> well, Adelaide, I think congratulations are in order. Thank you, Miss. I'm sure Mr. Sesame will be very impressed when he hears the news. <clears throat> I uh, owe you an apology, Mrs. Sesame. I didn't think it would be possible. Thank you, Miss Rottenmeyer. Grandmama is the best teacher you could find. Don't you think we should celebrate? Yes. Well, after that cold winter we've just had, I believe the best thing we can do is a day at the park. The park? We're going out? It will still be chilly, and I don't want Clara to catch a cold. We'll take blankets and shawls in case it gets cold, Miss Rottenmeyer. These children have been locked inside for months now. It's time we release them, don't you think? Only if you are extra careful, and if you promise to have a nap when you're back. Mm-hmm. Right here with you. I don't know, Nancy. 
Maybe if you show me first. Show you? One, two.